Hello and welcome back everyone, Nicholas from Bicycle here and in today's video we are going to be looking at one of the fastest if not the fastest gravel bikes on the block, the Ridley Kanzo Fast. If you are not yet subscribed make sure to do so to not miss out on any bike content and now without further ado let's get into it. The self-proclaimed fastest gravel bike in the world is extremely aerodynamic. Ridley basically took their aero road bike, the No Fast and the Kanzo gravel bike, mushed it together and created this gravel speed machine. It features truncated knacker tube shapes that reduces drag by controlling the airflow around the bike even at angles up to 15%. The seamless transition between the fork and the frame and the curved seat tube protecting the rear wheel not only looks slick but further contributes to the aerodynamic aspect. Furthermore, the Kanzo Fast features a D-shaped seat post with the F-Surface Plus technology, fully integrated cable routing, wings on the bottom of the fork to reduce turbulence caused by the wheel hub and in the more expensive models, the Kanzo Fast gravel specific aero handlebar. A lot is going on here, all of which allows you to cut through air more efficiently and make you ride faster. The geometry is what you would expect on a gravel bike. Shorter reach, taller stack and a longer wheelbase than what you would typically find on a road bike to provide more stability and control on the gravel. However, for a gravel bike it is somewhat aggressive and on the road even feels like a pure road bike, but just one with slower cornering. This also means that it will struggle slightly on the slower technical trails, but will once again make you want to ride it fast. This somewhat aggressive geometry, however, does not mean it is not comfortable. The purposely lowered seat stays, the D-shaped carbon seat post, the carbon frame, the tire clearance of 42 millimeters are all features that allows the bike to dampen vibrations and provide solid comfort on rough terrain. It is worth noting, however, that this is the case for more compact gravel. Once you hit rooted trails or extreme gravel, it will start to become uncomfortable. In terms of tire clearance, it is very limited for a gravel bike, but this just comes to show that this bike is made to go fast. The frame itself is constructed with high-end 24, 30, 50 and 60T Toroika carbon fiber. This allows Ridley to make the bike stiff in certain areas and also comfortable without using too much material and therefore reduce the weight. This stiffness is especially noticeable in the thick bottom bracket region which provides efficient power transfer when pedaling. Speaking of weight, the frame and fork itself weighs 1.7 kilograms in size L. Complete the entry level version we have here in size L taps in at 9.2 kilograms which considering that aero bikes usually weigh more, it is a size large and that it has entry level components, it is okay. In terms of mounting options, I was very surprised and find it very cool that Ridley included mudguard mounts. This is usually not seen on race gravel bikes so you can definitely use this bike throughout the year and stay dry. Besides that, you also get three water bottle mounts with one under the down tube. Which brings us to my favorite aspect, Ridley's configuration feature. Not only can you fully customize the color of your bike, but you can choose between a range of group sets, wheel sets, cockpit setup, saddles, etc. The model we have here is the entry level setup and comes with a mechanical SRAM rival 1x11 group set, which I'm not a fan of, a Richie Butano handlebar, which is okay, and Vittoria Terreno dry tires fitted on Ridley's in house Forza Nota Allo wheel set which is decent. It is important to note that if you choose this group set, your options are limited in the configurator. For example, you cannot choose the Konzo Fast Carbon Aero Handlebar, which is basically the NOAA Fast Handlebar, but optimized for gravel riding. In terms of group sets, it is also important to note that the Konzo Fast is only available in one by options. They've done this to increase power transfer and aerodynamics and also make room for a 42 mm tire in a short chainstay. However, if you really did want a derailleur and you have the money to spend, you can get the bike with the classified G30 wheel set which has their power shift rear hub and basically provides you with a 2x setup without having the derailleur and two chain rings. In terms of price, the entry level model I have here starts at 3,569 euros, which is not the best deal and the SRAM rival group set feels pretty cheap, but compared to gravel bikes in the same race category like the Cervelo Espero 5, it is pretty decent. At the end of the day, you are paying for the highly advanced and well-tested aerodynamic frame. If you want the aero handlebar, the cheapest option will be the GRX 800 setup with the Rotor Vegas crank, which will cost you 4,539 euros, which in my opinion is the better option if you are already looking at bikes in this price range. The prices will range up to 8,219 euros if you had to choose all the most expensive components, which in comparison again is actually quite decent. So is this bike for you? Well, if you are someone who is looking for a gravel bike that is a racing machine, wants to be ridden very fast, can keep up on tarmac, and is somewhat versatile, then yes. Road cyclists looking to get into gravel riding will especially love it due to its somewhat aggressive geometry. You could consider getting a second wheel set with thinner tires and also use it as your road bike. If you are someone who is looking to get into more adventurous long distance riding, 
then I would rather recommend looking at a bike such as the Canyon Grizzle. And similar options would be the Cervelo Spero 5 or Pinarello Gravel. However, the Kanzo, in my opinion, is the best value for money. Well, thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and found it helpful. If you have any further questions, feel free to leave a comment down below. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And until next time, peace.